Okay, hi guys! Welcome back to episode 2 of my series on the Vervain's Arcadia SMP. I was just digging out my mining area down here at the bottom of the world, and guess what I found? I got my first diamonds here, so let's grab it and get the achievement! Yay! Awesome! And there's at least one more here. Is that it? Is that, is that everybody? Okay. Okay. Cool. That seems to be our lucky tunnel. So I'd say let's go that way. It's just a very basic setup down here. Um, because I am going to do a much bigger uh, mining area eventually. But yeah, my first order of business is to get enough diamonds to go on a shopping spree. So I might be down here for a while. I think my goal is about 20 or so diamonds. So I'm going to chill down here and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, that tunnel was just a bust. But it's alright. Uh, I found nothing down this tunnel. I went through a few like four or five stone pickaxes down this tunnel found nothing no redstone no gold certainly no diamonds but i have run across a few veins in some of my other tunnels uh one was one had 15 diamond ores in it so we're in good shape okay so just unloading the spoils of my digging um i got 28 diamonds um, I decided that I wanted to maybe do a couple of pickaxes too and enchant those before, before I get books, just so that I know what I have on them. But for that, we need a few more levels. And so I asked around a bit and there is an XP farm with an enchanting setup, it sounds like. So, we'll probably head on over there in just a second. Alright, I am so not ready for this, but let's go. And this way to the Enderman farm. Okay, awesome sauce. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Trash bin. Use carefully. Fling stuff into the void. I love it. Okay. Awesome. It's a very, very loud farm. I've never used one of these before, but it's it's admittedly very fun to use. Okay, and I got some ender pearls out of it. Let's see what enchants we get. One, two, three. That silk touch. All right. All right. I'll take that. Efficiency four and silk touch. We'll get our... Okay, and then an efficiency four. I really want fortune. <gasps> fortune three, unbreaking the... Oh my gosh, that's a good enchant. Apparently, there's also a gold farm on the server um, that is an XP farm. Oh, psh. I haven't... I have yet to visit that one, obviously. Oh no, I just realized that I'm gonna spawn back at my, back at my own base. Ah, well, too bad. All right, nothing for it. Oh, we get credits. Well, I've already done these once, so we can skip them. Oh. Well, I'm close by anyways. How? Oh, because I've been breaking beds. Well, that actually worked out quite well. We will return a boat to here because we lost one in the last episode. And then we can be on our merry way. Oh, it is so laggy here. So we've got two items that we especially, particularly, definitely need. 
One is elytras, and I might grab a shulker box depending on how much I have left over. Okay, so the first elytra is 15 diamonds, which is, oh, and they already have mending and unbreaking three on them. Bless. All right, well then that's one, one less that I don't have to, or that's two less books that I have to buy. Hey, get me a snack. Oh, I meant to go to the creeper farm and I did not go to the creeper farm, which means I don't have rockets yet. Ah, well. Oh, there's so many cute. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't look down in the water last time I was here, but oh my gosh, that's so cute. The little tropical fishes and everything. All right, a diamond per book. I have seven diamonds left. So we should have efficiency five, silk touch, mending, and unbreaking three. Awesome. I think we might call that good in this store for now. I'm I'm tempted by the depth strider. But maybe let's bounce around the shopping district a bit more. And glass. Okay. Good to know. So I've been thinking about like what kind of shop would I want? I was kind of thinking that like glass could be fun because I really enjoy uh, collecting sand and um, making dye farms and things. Sounds like fun. Okay, well it brought us right back here. I think we have two diamonds left. Are there shulkers in here? Okay, good. We will buy ourselves a shulker box. All right, so this is the Fort Grace Station. We're going to pop just a little bit farther over this way before we head on home. And here we are at the Public Gunpowder Station. Ooh. Oh, this is a uh, fancy creeper farm. I like it. And they have an AFK spot over there. All right, well, while I'm kind of just hanging around, I think I'm going to try my luck at a couple of turtle eggs, maybe. Oh, come on. Seagrass, thank you. Gosh. Hey, my little friends, I see you down there. I see you guys swimming. Let's see if we can't get some cute turtle eggs. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. How many do we get? Oh, three? Nice. We have as many fireworks as we're going to have right now. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to hang out here for just a little bit longer. Let, um, you know, get a little bit built up for the next person that comes along and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, we are here at the Fort Grace station and we're just going to uh, put on our wings <laughs> and then give them a test. This is a much better travel method than bouncing along <laughs> bouncing along huge areas I I I like this Let's, mm. I never want to not have elytra again well we have wings and we have fancy nice pickaxes so I am feeling pretty good about things it is awesome to drop into an established server because you can get going real fast. I feel like doing a little bit of exploring. I want to see the rest of this area that I have uh, plans starting out for. Okay, so we're here in kind of the frozen area um, up north. It's surrounded by a bunch of windswept hills and um, 
some planes and taiga and things. Also, does anybody know what this uh, structure is? There was a chest in it, and I don't know that I've encountered one of these. But over this way, we have a large area of windswept hills, and I think over in here is where I'm going to set up my mining area. So near the house that I grew up in is a giant um, open gold mine that's basically just this giant pit that goes way down into the earth. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to build a mine structure like that, have a bunch of mining vehicles in it, and then down through here, I am going to put my storage system somewhere along this river. This is actually super, super perfect. I, uh, after high school, worked in tourism at a gold dredge, and I'm thinking I'm going to put my storage system in one, probably right in here somewhere. I might widen out the river a little bit. I really love how this river cuts through um, the hills here. Right here, just over a little bit from our current campsite, I'm going to put my little starter base area right on here. We're going to flatten it out, turn it into a bit of a gravel bar, um, and set up a fish camp here. So I have lots of different styles that I want to build in. Um, some are kind of going to be a little bit more gritty, real life style builds, um, because, you know, they're actual builds from my life living in Alaska. Um, but then some of them will be a little bit more like folktale, fairy tale ish. Um, lots of different pretty things and some that are just, again, a little bit more gritty. But again, our first build is going to be our fish camp and there's going to be a lot of digging. So I think I'm going to go down and try to grab a, a few more diamonds to get, um, to get a shovel. All right. I have everything I need to start tearing this hill down. Well, that was perfect. It ended up giving me a, a shulker full of resources and um, my inventory is full too. Um, I think I'm going to dig out a little bit of the rock here, replace it with gravel, and then build things up one layer. We obviously have a cliff face to work on too. Um, I did a little bit of shaping just with this, this area with the tree there. I think the cliff face is going to actually use tough, um, and probably andesite. So, yeah. Time to finish some terraforming, I suppose. Look what I got. A derpy little squid's head. Oh, there's another guy dying. I've been collecting their, uh, ink as they just wash up on the shore and die here. Anyways, this is what our cliff face is looking like now. So now that a little bit more of the shaping is done, I might actually change a little bit more of that. Um, but now that the shaping's done, we can go through and add some of our uh, other textures. Okay, well that is looking decent. Um, next thing I suppose is our uh, our cabin here. It's just going to be small. I'm not going to add a bunch of extra things in it. Um, if I do an enchanting room, it will not be in here. <laughs> so um, it's going to be just pretty small. All right, this is looking good. Our interior is far from finished, but we've got a cabin here and the grass is spreading over the roof, but I want some moss for this roof. So... I think in order to do that, we're gonna need to first replenish rockets. So, let's check and see how our sugar cane is doing. Not great, I haven't exactly been close enough for it to be growing. I am also going to need some blackout curtains and I think for that, we need some banners. And I'm leaning towards light gray and blue for those. Light blue wouldn't be bad either. Ooh, yes. This is the, this is this is the this is the color combo right here. 
All right, my friends, give me your wools. My friend, where did, where, where are you? Where are you, friend? Friend, 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 I has bone. Friend, <gasps> friend, 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 no. Oh, well, I guess I need to uh kill skellies. All right, skeleton, skeleton, there we go. Oh gosh, I don't have armor on and that's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. Ho oh, oh. ho. No. 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 Okay. I also need to get this creeper away from the animal pen. Come here, creeper. Creeper. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Come on. Come on. We battle over here. We do great battle. Ah! No. Gosh. Why do I do this to myself? All right, well, while we're hanging out here waiting for sugar cane to grow, it's like molasses in January, except a growing version. But anyways, let's put together a book and a quill. Ah, I got it right the first time. Look at that. I'm, I'm gonna get up Minecraft, you guys. Anyways, um, so I think we have the statues, the armor statues, um, plug-in on the server. Well, our lovely Lord and Master Zombie Cleo has <laughs> graciously, graciously given us the instructions to this via the tutorial on <laughs> on the uh data pack page um so we title this statues and we sign and close and now we have the statues book which means <gasps> we can do cool things with armor stands the, <laughs> the armor stand is very much invisible now i you see i'm hitting it but it's not breaking. What happened? Ah! No. <laughs> Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Oh gosh. This is... <laughs> what the heck? How do I... How do I break it? No! That's not what I meant. Guys, I just made a mess. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> oh my gosh. If anybody knows what I did wrong there. Because it, it, dis it disappeared and like went into the ground when I selected block on surface. Um, and I can't get the armor stand back and it won't break. Where, where, where did this go? There it is. All right, my friends. Life is short and we need moss. So we're gonna fly out this way because there's some parts of the map that haven't been um, explored yet over here. And then we'll just kind of look out for a cave. Ah, here be ice spikes and polar bears apparently. Okay, they can get hostile, but I can fly away, right? Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Baby. There was a baby. I'm, I'm like, 90% sure there was a baby there. And he got mad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyways, yeah, so we'll be incorporating some of this ice. All of those good things. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is one way to do it, I suppose. Let's grab some ice while we're here. Is that blue ice? No, it's packed ice. Oh, is this dark oak? This is. Okay, okay. Not what I was looking for, but... Like, we are in 1.18 territory here, so there should be... There should be lush caves around. 
Doesn't look like down there's the way. Ooh, a swamp. Uh, yes, please. Where, 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 where are the pretty blue flowers? The water looks so interesting. I don't see any lushness down there, though. Ah, here's some pretty blue flowers. Ooh, okay. This is a desert. And a desert place with a kitty. Kitties! I need kitties. I kept getting kicked off yesterday. Someone else was also getting kicked off. Over and over. So, we're back. Hopefully, this time... It's all a little bit better. Anyways... Just kind of running around this desert here, looking at what we've got. Oh, this is the Fletcher house. Oh, there's a ladder. Where does the ladder go? Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, sir. I, I respect that. This is a desert temple, isn't it? It doesn't look like people have generally done much around here. I wonder if this has been raided already. All right. Um, how? Because it's like the front part of it's still buried up. Okay, so there's the pressure plate there. I could wash this away with water. I think that's what I'm going to do. Put the water there and then go down. And... Yep. Alright, well I still need moss, but my inventory is completely full. So I think I'm going to head towards home. Which is basically directly this way. It's an acacia tree! This is... Oh, good, 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 good. Because this is, like, basically directly north. Okay, this isn't the exact same one we saw initially. But, it's real close. So, I'm going to turn the rest of my coal into torches. And... Get digging, I guess. I can't, I can't, I can't get past the stupid creeper. No! 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 Ah! Okay, he blew up. Did not kill me. Ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. I could go for some other things, too. But I mostly want the glowberries. Yes, this. This right here. My precious... Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit more moss. You know what? There's too much darkness that way. I am shaking. I have had enough excitement for this adventure. I'm going to head back home. I have everything I need to make a moss farm. So I'm going to add just a little bit of moss into the roof. Hey, my little friend. Oh! Doing a little lag today, huh? Oh, good! I have another friend, doggo. Alrighty, let's moss this up. It's not unusual for a cabin roof to have like a mossy, mossy, grassy roof. Um, it's not an unusual thing at all. So I think this is looking real nice. Yes. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That's it. <laughs> That looks good. All right, so the first thing we're making is right here, and it is going to be a fish wheel. So in Alaska, subsistence uh, gathering, I guess, food gathering, is just kind of part of life. But there are different regulations as to what um, non-native people, such as my family, can do and what native people can um, can do as far as fishing goes and stuff like that. I'm going to clear out just a little bit more of this, I think. Just have a little bit more room. So, one difference is that, um, native, native people can use fish wheels, um, which is what we're building right here. Okay, so this is our fish wheel here, and how fish wheels work is they rotate and they just scoop up fish and dump them there in the middle as they go over. Um, they are often set up in like eddies in the river and that's where fish will like gather 
um, just because it gives them a break from swimming upstream. But yeah, this is one one type of fishing that is done in Alaska. Now, these are colored like salmon, but kind of really old, gross salmon. But you know what? It's fine. I think that we can use invisible item frames. So I want to say it's trigger. Yes, it's this. Ha. My months of watching Hermitcraft have paid off. Yes! Oh my gosh, look at that! I love it. All right. Now let's do that with these two. So this is fish camp, you guys. The floor should be, you know, wet and running with blood, but it's fine. <laughs> so here we are. Here's our fish camp. Honestly, this looks really good, and it gives me so many, like, memories and feelings of home, and I love it so much. I really... I just really love how this area turned out, and not gonna lie, I am obsessed with uh, using invisible item frames. It is my new favorite thing. I need help figuring out the armor stands. If anybody can tell me how to uh, get that uh, piece of dirt figured out, that would be really, really nice. Anyways. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying um, hanging out and doing some things here on this server. And I'm excited to see where our adventures take us. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And do consider subscribing. I'll see you for the next one. Bye!